Hey guys, Joe Cool here. Welcome back to another episode of Crash Landing. Hey, um, today I'm gonna sweat profusely because I'm overheating. <laughs> okay, let's see here. And as Jenny would say, I don't sweat, I glisten. <laughs> but if you can see right off the bat, I've got a hole over here, a nice big gaping hole. I plugged that one up. Um, but what I'm doing today is I installed an elevator. Da da da. La da da da. Um, one of the options I was thinking of doing is getting a pneumatic elevator, but um, that takes a lot of stuff. So it's really cool, but <laughs> um, so yeah, I made it go all the way up here. So the thing that I want to do here is I had enough to um, make two more elevators. So here's one right here, and I'm going to install the second one. What I'm going to do is make a frame um, for it. I think that's, I don't think I'm going to use the paved stone covers. I think I'm going to use the cobblestone strips to stick with the same theme I got going on. So if we went here, and what I want to do is I want it to see, I kind of want it on this outside corner here. So I, what I'm building is a frame to support the, um, to support the elevator, because it can't just be out in the middle of the open all by its lonesome. That just would be right. And um, so we're going to do this. Um, finish. There's my tree farm. Mm -hmm. Like a nice big giant hole over there. Okay, so let me run this up. Um, I'm going to run this on both sides, and then I'll be right back. All right, I guess I should have been <laughs> rolling. <laughs> so. I went down here to grab my hang glider. <laughs> so I grabbed my hang glider because we're getting on uh, nighttime. <laughs> and so I put my dust down there and I went to jump on top of it. And well, when I jumped, I went like that. <laughs> and I just, oh, I just straight up walked over the side. <laughs> oh gosh. Um. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, let me finish this other side, hopefully without killing myself. <laughs> Bring it back. All right, we're back. So I've got the frame going around the outside, and what I want to do next is... Um, so the thing with elevators is there's a 20-level uh, limit. So I'm right now I'm at 89, so I should be at, like, what, about 69? Yeah, 69. Um that's that's the max distance that these elevators work from coming up and down and what I wanted to do um, I'll probably do some more once I get more um, silk or string I call it silk but it's actually just string um, but um, for each level I'm gonna add you know I'm adding a platform because at each level you're not going to have you got the support beams right well now you have the um, now you have a platform at each at each level now let's add you and the thing I want to do is I want to add these guys in the corners here because as we go further up why does that one not look right Oh, it's just weird. Okay. So as we go further up, um, we'll run into other issues. But um, so the other thing I want to do, I might have to, because um, doesn't it look like it's like going through the ground or something? Why does that one look? Oh, maybe it's just the color of the corner it's on. It just looks weird what they're doing the 3D rendering of it. Oh. 
So I have to be careful up here because I will get shoved off. Maybe, um, maybe put these in the corner corner. I wanted them big. Oh, I lost that one. Got that one. Put them in that corner. Get the other one. Um, this way? Yeah, here it is. I wanted these one size bigger because when you put the poles up, they wouldn't um, stick out. But as they are now, um, I'll probably end up putting poles out there and put railing up here um, like I've done in my past um, past series. I need a block that I can deal with pretty quickly. Hmm. And what I mean by that is um, easy to destroy, so I can tear it down. Um, but if you've seen some of my other series, I've I've used um, these guys. Um, I think I did them all, but the um, the strips as a railing, so that I don't go falling off like I just did. <laughs> I got our awesome shovel here. Amazing. I think it looks cool. What do you think? Not quite the uh, pneumatic elevator, but with a similar appearance. <laughs> Rip off. <laughs> Let's go flying. Let's go fly a kite up to the highest height. For all you Mary Poppins fans, family classic. I grew up on that movie. Alrighty, so um, that's done. Now, I wanted to use these elevators pretty quick. And I needed some more of these blocks to finish up... Um, down here and I didn't really want to make them <laughs> not so much that I didn't want to make them but they're just they're pretty uh, expensive they're pretty how do you say expensive <laughs> and they're pain to, to break see how many I got It looks like we might have enough to finish. Oh yeah, we got plenty of. So this guy here. All right, we finally finished the room. Um, I'll put these in later because I want to fill this in with more stuff. The um, I could probably just put the one side. Wait, what do I got? Okay. Um, do I got the other nooks? Okay. So yeah, fun stuff. All right, guys, well, let me get some stuff together and we'll do some more stuff. All right, be right back. All right, guys, we're back. And uh, one of the things that I wanted to show you, what we're gonna do today is I'm gonna set up an automated um, energy production, I guess. I'm trying to figure out the right word for it. But uh, so if we go over here to our power, we have um, this, these commands here will take um, coal. So we're taking coal from our um, storage array and putting it in um, all the generators. So we're putting one piece of coal in, let's see, yeah. So what I want to do is I want to change this to a redstone controlled um, we are going to go through 15 so when it reaches uh, a strength of 15 which means um, on a comparator it'll be um, full for the um,
for the energy cell. If any, we're going to have to pay attention to which side we're going to use because um, there's a lot of power going on. So we don't want to mess around with that. Okay, so let's go ahead and put it in. So where's my wrench? Okay, so we need to pull this guy off, and then let's clear out some of these real quick. So I want to put the redstone receiver here. Um, I'm going to put a solid block there, and I'll put one there too. And then we need to put the comparator there. And so the side we're on is the south side. So we're going to add our cell here. Now I think that's in and out. I think. Um, but if we be careful and pick this guy off. So you see right now um, the comparator is up right now, so let's. Oh, that's not the one I want to use either. So let's do this. So I'll put the comparator there, and then I'm going to grab a piece of redstone. I'll show you. Okay, so right now it's a 15 because it's full. So when it empties, or as it empties, it'll get lower, and then what I want the. Um, generator array to do is to continue to pr uh, create um, start generating energy and what's going to happen is when it hits 15 it's going to stop putting coal in it so if it just put a piece of coal in it when it hit 15 and then it runs another piece of coal it'll be um, it'll store so it's 160, so 320,000 uh, RF, 320K RF, uh, times 4. So um, that'll fill these guys up pretty good. So yeah, I think, I think that'll work out pretty good. Um, I think that's right. I don't, I don't remember. I never remember. I don't pay attention. <laughs> I always get confused. Um, let's see, do I have any other energy cells floating around? I have one upstairs. Let me go see what that one says. Is it next to it? Okay. So blue is in, orange is out. Okay. I should know that. That's the same for just about everything. Blue is an input, orange is an output. So input to the left, output to the right. Okay. And this will be nice too because um, so the generators, I, I have eight generators, which means I am times five RF per tick is 40. So it's getting 40 RF per tick on the generators. So and these conduits here, these leadstone conduits, um, they only produce 80, so that's plenty to uh, come from the generators to this cell. And so what I can do later is I can upgrade these with um, hardened energy conduits and um, improve the throughput. What I might do too is I might put a cell charging station somewhere like right here or something. So you just plug in and it fills up your cell. But that's not for today. Um, so yeah, that's that piece. Now let's get to the code. Code's really easy. It's like I was saying, redstone receivers, let's see. Um, I think we want the further one. Are they right next to each other? 
No, they're not. Okay. That one's 53, that one's 55. Okay, yeah, this is the one that's in the ground. Okay, one second's fine. Um, we wanted south, was it? I'm going to go acquire south. So, the south. We are going to while high. No. While low. While low means when it's not meeting this condition. Yeah. When it is meeting this condition, we'll stop. So yeah, there we go. And that should be it. That should be automated. And if we run out of energy, we know we did something wrong. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I want to work on is this guy over here. And um, obviously we got these guys in the way. And just killed my redstone. How dare you? That's rude. Okay. Okay, so what I want to do here is not waste materials because, um, and be careful, man. This thing is like. there now so let's see I'm gonna do that guy it's at one but I'm gonna lose it all when okay so I want um, I want one of these guys here and then I can put this guy here. And then that way I can see him. And then we will put um, Can I put him there? No. I have to put him right here. I need to make a couple more. Does that work? Is that recipe? No, that's what it's used for. I need recipe. Okay, so I need a furnace and some more pressure tubes. So let's see what we have over here. Um, we have one pressure tube. And some glass. Let's see. Um, I should have a bunch of glass, actually. Yeah, let's do... Where are you coming from? Uh, yeah, let's just do all five of these. I'll we'll grab some of this. So these guys, that guy, and some of those. Okay. Now we need some furnaces. Hey, look, I got cobblestone. So two of those. And then we want a compress compressor. this electric compressor kinetic compressor I wonder if this uses um, does it use RF to create um, 
compression or does it compress to create RF? <laughs> I'm so confused. If so, I'm wondering how much RF I can get out of that. Um, I'll have to play with that. That's. Um, I don't know. Is there a pneumatic? Pan uh, EU. Is there a book? Do they have a book? Donde esta el libro? Para Nomadecraft. <laughs> Donde esta el biblioteca? <laughs> so it doesn't look like there's a book for Nomadecraft. There's this guy here, a pneumatic engine. That's disabled. Kinetic compressor. I'm guessing this takes kinetic energy and and makes um, pneumatic pressure. So that'd be kind of cool. Cause you just, especially if you have a reactor. <laughs> You don't have to deal with all this. Okay, so we have two more compressors. No, let's. So we want two more compressors, and then we want some cabling here. And then I think I'm gonna get another. So this would be two, four, six, eight, ten. Oh wait. Um, two, one, two, three, four, four and a half. So if I ran this, <clears throat> if I ran the redstone this way. Okay, so I'm going to have to bring this down too. And then let's see here. So when I go to do the bottom, I think I'll I'll do um I'll just dig under and, and build it. Um, but what I want to do is that. Now I'll show you what I'm doing here. So let's make the, these solid. Okay, this should be really simple, um, easy to do. Okay, so what's going to happen is as pressure increases, this the redstone strength of this, is this a safety valve? Is that what it is? Pressure gauge tube. This outputs a redstone signal based on um, how much pressure is in the system. Now let's see if it shows it. It doesn't say. Oh, here we go. So this tube emits a redstone signal of which the strength is dependent on how much pressure is left in the tube is at. So at a strength of 10 uh, means that there's a barometric pressure of 5. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's going to be 4.5 it's going to go all the way up to four and a half, which is cool because it'll, it'll probably get close to five as it finishes its last um, coal or charcoal. So I'm going to throw, I'm going to throw some coal in there. Let's split it up. Okay, so I'm actually, let's see here. 
Let's throw it in just the first one. Because I need to get, I need to make, so the thing that I need to make is I need to make, let's look at this. Um, pin E. So we need to make this chamber interface. We need two of these, which means we need four of these guys, which means we need four of those. This is pretty much just craftable. All I need is a bunch of the blue plastic. Hmm. So I just need the blue plastic then. Okay. That's not bad. That's actually kind of doable. So this is just basic craft. And then that's another basic craft. And that's just another basic craft. Um, safety valve is this stuff. And that's easy to do. Okay, so if I need four of, no, I this gives me four. Okay, so I only need two of these, which means I need 12 plastic, um, plastic C era blue plastic, which is from the rain plant seeds, which is lapis and grass seed. So, okay, so let's get to making that. Let me get some pieces together, and I'll show you how we're going to do that. All right, we're back, and let me show you how this is going to go. So to make the, let's see, we need the rain plant seed, which is lapis and grass. So we're going to go ahead and make this. Now I have more grass seeds. Well, I have another grass seed. I don't have more. And um, so we're going to go like that, and what we're going to do is we're going to, come over here and we're gonna just hit Q that should plant and then we will bone meal it twice and break which should give me two and we're gonna keep doing this until we have enough plant seeds to it interesting mechanic <laughs> I wonder if let's try this who went like this Well, that works out pretty easy. <laughs> so the seeds are sitting there waiting to plant, and as soon as the location to plant becomes available, it plops down. And so we've got 21. Hey, come here. <laughs> Get over here. Um, so we now have 21 seeds, and we need 12. So we're going to throw 12 of these in here, hopefully with, what is this sitting at? So that's going up there. Currently at 4. Yeah, see this is going all the way over here. When it hits 4.5, it'll hit here and shut everybody off. Maybe I should move that over one. I don't know. Hmm. Because if they're all going, hmm. 
He should not have hit another one. At least I don't think so. How many did I put in there? I'm gonna have to play with that to figure out how to how to do these. Because maybe these aren't actually stopping it. So um, actually I should probably just leave those in there because I'm gonna um, break this anyway. Okay, so I need 12 seeds in there. This will be. It should be the last time I need to break this. So um, we need all those, and then oh, no, wrong ones. Come on, go, go, go. And the next time I break this, let's see, how much did we lose? Ooh. Yep, should all go good. All right, I guess having it up there was. Um, a was quite beneficial. Okay, so we got didn't lose a whole lot. That's kind of cool. All right, so now we should only met. So we got twelve of those. We have our tubes. We have our compressed iron. So let's go back to making these guys. Um, oh, we need some of these. So we need two of these. And I'm missing. Oh, I gotta make these things. Okay, so I've got that. I need a couple more of those. Let's see. Do I have I have these guys on me? I need some sticks. Oh, let's grab just two sticks out of here. And some food and some water. Okay. So let's do these real quick. And then we need to do okay. So that's this. Oh wait, no, I need <laughs> Cannon, two of those, two of those, okay. Then we need <laughs> two of those. Oh, crud, I need four of those. What? Oh, no, I don't, okay. So we need two of those. Two of these, two of these. Okay. So I think I think we're good, maybe. Two of those. And a hopper. And a hopper. Do we have some aluminum? We do. Do we have we don't have any wood for just and I got rid of my wood chest. My wood is all upstairs now. Dang it. Um, let's see. Over here. Um, two pieces of wood. So I got it running uh, leaves right now. It's a lot of leaves. Are you full leaves still? You're out of leaves. I'm going to have to move all that stuff. Okay, so back to this guy. Um, hopper. Nope. I'll get it one of these times. <laughs> Just aluminum. There we go. Finally. <laughs> okay. So now I want to put one here. And one up top. So let me open this real quick. Oh, this is this is the pain. So I think I'm just gonna end up losing everything. So I don't think I think that's backwards. Yeah. 
Okay, so I need one right here. Oh, no. Do I have to really break that bottom one? I'm going to be irritated. There. In, out, and then in, out, and then one of these. There we go. And then we got a window over here with which to view nothing because I can't see. Maybe I should put the in on that side. Actually, I think I will, which means I have to tear this whole thing out. I'm probably at zero. Oh, I'm only down to one. But I'm going to lose it all right here. Okay, so we're going to take this window out. Um, we're going to put that guy up. Oh, let's see here. So in, out. Um, glass, where you at? Chamber window, right there. Um, let's see. And then interface up here. And then pressure chamber, pressure chamber. There. That way I can look this way and I can see telephone. <laughs> All right. Since we were so rudely interrupted, actually it wasn't rude. <laughs> uh, friend from church. Uh, he's invite me over to hang out for dinner. And let's put that guy there. So we got item ducks. We have pneumatic servos. So we're going to put you in there. The servo. You right there with the servo. Might actually get to the point of making um, I'm surprised these aren't turned off. It's kind of frustrating. I'll have to f play with that and figure that out. Um, That's that. That's actually pretty cool. So let's do you. Let's go you. Let's change you to. Um, so for those that don't know, the O key is default to turn your NEI on and off. Um, for those that are playing, unnamed begins with. Um, that. You know any items that begin with that? I don't either. <laughs> okay, so the benefit of these, you don't lose as much air when things go through. So stack size. I hear eight's a really good number um, to do that. So um, I'm going to give it a shot, see how it goes. I haven't done, this is like the furthest I've done Pneumaticraft. I've only done Pneumaticraft in this expansion, or this mod pack. So there we go. We've got um, our pressure chamber configured to automate. Um, oh, wait, we need you. We need to turn you on to pull things out. But, um, yeah, we'll be able to just kind of go, oh, okay. Um, but offline, I'm going to play with this, and if I remember, I'll tell you what I figured out. Now, this should shut it. Oh, you know what? <laughs> Only generate on a low redstone signal. There's our problem. Fixed it. 
<laughs> All right, guys. Thanks again for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, let me know. Leave a like or comment below. And if you didn't, let me know what I can do to improve on so we can all have a better time. All right, guys. Take care and have a good one.